Well, you've got something new from Infinity PBR? Great, that's what I like to hear. I have opened a new Unity project using Unity 2020.1, which means we need to import the project using the Package Manager. Make sure you select My Assets, and then search for the pack you'd like to install. Click Download or Import if you've already downloaded the data, then wait for the Import dialog to pop up. Go ahead and include everything, unless you know you want to exclude specific files. Click the button and go make yourself a drink. You deserve it. You've done a good job today. The import might take a few minutes. Alright, the import is done. First thing, you can clear out any Unity warnings and errors in the console. And let's open up the demo scene. Almost all of my packs will be in the Infinity PBR folder, and the demo scenes in the appropriately titled Demo Scenes folder. Oh. Where's the pretty environment? If you're like me, you like pretty, so when you load up the demo scene, you'll notice the trees and other pretty things in the demo videos, they're missing. They come from the Book of the Dead standard shader conversion pack, and while they do make the demo scene look pretty, it's not required at all to make any of these characters awesome. If you install the pack, the scene you see in the video will be the scene you see on your computer. But for most of you, it would be a waste of time to import the scene unless you plan on using it in your project. Remember, this is a demo scene meant to demonstrate the features of the character, it's not meant to be something you use in your game. Realistically, you need to create your own character controller or use one from the asset store. If you load up my animator for the humans, you'll see it's very much set up for the demo only. Learn from it, modify it, but please do make your own for your project, and you'll be much happier in the long run. In the hierarchy, you'll find the sub-meshes and wardrobe that are available for you to work with. For the humanoids, you'll also find wardrobe from the other humanoid packs. They're pink right now, but if you import the other packs, which have the required textures and materials, they'll show up as expected. Looking at the inspector, you'll also see the Blend Shapes Manager, where you can control all the various mesh morphing magic we include with the characters. Go ahead and click the Randomize button and see what happens. Click the Reset button to reset things back to zero. Check out my other videos to learn more about the Blend Shapes Manager. The inspector also has our audio source, and the audio script which drives all the sound effects in the demo scene character. You'll find animation triggers attached to the animations which call a method in the audio script. That's all there is to it. The prefabs are ready for you to drag and drop in your project. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like, and join the Discord for more conversation with other users, tips, tricks, questions, and more.